I'm Evan Leroy and this is New School Barbecue. Leroy and Lewis Barbecue is a little blue food truck off South Congress in Austin, Texas that cooks locally sourced barbecue on homemade pits. We try our best to honor where barbecue comes from while respectfully adding our own modern touches. These are our recipes, methods, travels, and stories. This is New School Barbecue. Hey barbecue fans, Evan Leroy here. In this video we're breaking and cooking a whole lamb for Easter. We love cooking seasonally and for big holidays. This year at the truck we're cooking some Easter hams and the year this video was produced we cooked some Easter lamb and some deviled Easter eggs which is going to be next week's video. Drop a comment below whether you guys prefer Easter ham or lamb or if you're cooking anything else for your preferred spring holiday. So in this video, you'll see us break down a lamb, you'll see us cook the lamb, but you won't see us pick the lamb. You'll see a little bit of what is on the line at the end of the day, right before service. But in the very beginning when we were producing these videos, we were still learning how to do all this stuff, learning that you know the battery on the camera doesn't last forever, sometimes you gotta plug in, and sometimes you still have to have stuff ready for service. So that's why that section of the video is missing. Uh, you know, when we were so new at this, I still kind of cringe at some of the stuff out of focus or anything, but that's part of documenting this entire thing, right? Is showing you guys all of it, kind of uh, the real, true look behind the curtain of what we do. If we were to do this today, I think we would break down the lamb a little differently. We'd probably break out the shoulders to cook them to a pulled texture, break out the ribs and the chops and cook them and sell them separately and then maybe use the hams the lamb hams for or the back legs for sausages that's kind of typically our go-to method of breaking down most animals like that we do that mainly for pigs we do that for lambs we would do that for whatever else we got like i said the original published date of this video was april 15th of 2020. we don't typically do this on our menu but when we do we like to give it a little bit of kind of a Middle Eastern or kind of Southern Asian flair. I put a little curry rub and some cider vinegar when I pulled this lamb to kind of uh, balance the flavors and seasonings. After Clayton flipped it, he finished cooking it, rested it in the warmer, and then I came to open the next day and picked it for service. Speaking of Clayton, we have a few debuts in this video. He's the one who is flipping the uh, lamb and he's the one who finished it. He's the second cook in this video uh, He is the fry daddy CFO chief fry officer at mama fried our loaded fry truck at the armadillo den You'll see Matt Favron in this video He is the first cook that comes in around noon to cook the lamb He uh, he and I are opening a truck on the east side of Austin called Texas wedge and it is going to be opening this week, actually, for the Masters Tournament. It's going to be really cool. Really excited. Barbecue adjacent, kind of golf-themed stuff. And we also have the debut of Nathan and Sawyer in this video. My wonderful partners in Leroy and Lewis. Stick around to the end to see a little joke from them. Make sure to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Go subscribe to our Patreon. Come visit us at the food truck. And go to LeroyandLewisBBQ.com if you want sauces and merch. Here's our video of breaking and cooking a lamb. See you next week, barbecue fans. All right, it is Easter Sunday. We are cooking a whole lamb. But first things first, we've got to cut these shanks off. Then we're going to split it right down the middle along the spine here so it, so it lies nice and flat on the old chud box. These are always the hardest uh, bones to find because it starts up here. Like if I cut in here, it's straight bone. So you gotta go in and then down. And I'm always moving around trying to find where that ball joint is. So it's like a tiny, lean, gamey pig, right? Oh yeah. There it goes. Yeah, you can see it's a very weird knuckle from there, there and then all the way up. Well, 
Very nice. Look at that beautiful meat. Mm. Wow. There we go. Now let's open it up a little bit. We'll pull out some of this here kidney fat. Otherwise, it'll all render down and you will start a massive grease fire. And I am a buddy. Ruined a whole $600 lamb. <laughs> is that a power tool that you buy for other things or is that a bone saw that it's like specifically block and decker bone saw? This is a power tool, but I typed in bone saw on Amazon. This is the first one that popped up. Yeah. It's like 40 bucks. I mean, it's just a saw. It's, a, okay. it's just a power saw here. Be good for cutting wood and stuff, but works great for a bone saw. I could clean up some of this stuff, but I think that'll all just add some nice flavor and texture. And it'll, it'll go nicely on the old smoker. Perfect. There we go. Happy Easter everybody. We're serving all the lamb today. This is what it looks like. I seasoned it up with some curry powder and some cider vinegar. Happy Easter. Mm -hmm. Are you saying hoppy? Hoppy Easter. Like a rabbit. Like a rabbit. I was thinking beer, like hops.